Alrighty guys, I got a quick video on a setup rig here. I don't even know how to really explain it. I guess I can call it the melting rig. Uh, used this a lot at Melton Hill, and it really, really, it's it's a very unique rig. You're gonna think I'm crazy when you see it, but the results are there, and it's kind of hard to argue when you're producing results. I'll never share, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm still, I protect myself. I'm real secretive about some videos and stuff, but this is something I'm gonna share with you guys that I typically wouldn't share, but my time for fishing has really slowed down because of the twins. It's gonna be slow for a while, but I'm just gonna give y'all something to something to help make up your time. And right now is a very good time to do this at below the TVA dams because uh, I'm striped bass are coming up. And again, I came up there. There may be a rig like this already, but I'm gonna call it the Melton Hill rig. And hope y'all guys enjoy. All right, start out. I've got my Spin Fisher Five on a Battle Two big heavy rod here long rod it is a moderate fast nine footer heavy built now if you see what you just seen bobber stop about however far depending upon where you're fishing at that goes up to a four inch power float comes into a big big swivel I can't remember what size it is. They came from Tackle Bandit. Check Nate out. Tackle Bandit. 20 pound trialing. You can use 30 if you want. I seem to have just as much success with 20. That runs down. It's kind of like a reverse Carolina rig. It runs down to another Nate Davis special. Sinker. And... bead sorry it took me a second that's a rubber bead so all right how this works is you know how deep those stripers set up you know they're usually on the blowout side of the boils and it's always hard to get bait down to them uh especially if you're not in a boat you know you can vertical jig them with two or three ounces easily if you're in a boat at the boils but if not you're going to have a hard time chunking them from the bait bank or pier however you want to look at it so if you go like this, you'll be able to set it up because you're going to get your depth and you're going to sink your shad down over this right here. That's a Gamakatsu 4X strong live bait hook. And again, it goes up. And this leader here, however long you want to make it. I know it looks like it's reversed, it's backwards, but it's not. Your sinker actually goes here and you want to peg that too. Uh, that'll help hold it in place. Now I have a little bit longer leader on because where I'm fishing at now uh, i'm actually throwing this for smallmouth believe it or not and i like to have that leader a little bit longer because it's a little bit less for a little more abrasion resistance now if you're doing it below say say melton hill you're going you're going to make that no more than about 18 inches then you can set your bobber stop up however far you feel comfortable setting it up and of course i just throw that on there for viewing i'll trim that up here in a minute but anyway i call that the melton hill rig so hook bead rubber bead and i've got a one ounce on here you can and with these big four inch power floats you can go up to two ounces easy you will you do not understand how buoyant them things are the buoyancy but anyway all right leader up to swivel bead for your bobber stop come all the way down bobber stop and i've got uh 40 pound braid on all right folks i call that the melton hill rig please share hope y'all enjoy